it allows you to scan a room. It uses AI and computer vision to create a three-dimensional three reconstruction of your room, remove the furniture from the room, and put IKEA furniture in it. Hi, I'm Jeremy. I'm Jeremy Drury, the Chief Digital Officer of IKEA Germany. IKEA is uh, another small uh, Swedish company. We've seen one today. Um, but let's have a dig in and see what it really means today. So it started in Germany 50 years ago in Esching with one store and one of the most amazing engagement capabilities that we've ever seen, the IKEA catalog. Do you remember it? Did you all cut things out of it? Yeah. Did you do your school homework with it? Isn't that fantastic? No? That was one of the most, most engaging tools that um, IKEA had, but it's not here anymore. Now we have 54 stores, we have eight planning order points, we have eight distribution, uh, um, distribution um, warehouses, two of which are parcel, and we are currently doing approximately last year about 6.3 billion euros in revenue in Germany. It's a whole different world. The vision to create a better everyday life for the, for the many people has stayed throughout that entire journey. And that is, um, that's something that, um, as, a, as an IKEA employee, we, we see every day. Um, but we started transforming from a physical retailer to an omnichannel retailer before the pandemic. And we all know that in order to do this, the most important part of, that, of maintaining engagement particularly if you don't have a catalogue sitting on the, on the coffee table, is to make sure that you're relevant in the, in the, on the tool that is most com mo used by most people, the mobile, the mobile device. We want to get more accessible uh, for the many people. Our three roads, accessibility, affordability, and sustainability, help us focus on what we want to do. Sustainability, everything we want to do, we want to do within the, uh, the capabilities of the planet today, and we have some very strong sustainability goals that keep us honest and keep us driven to be the best retailer. We want to be affordable. We want to have a price point for everybody to help everybody create that better life. But today we're going to talk about accessibility. And we've committed to investing to be closer to our customers. The moment we connect to our customers with the physical stores, but also with, the mid, the digital store, with our digital capabilities. And in order to get closer still to our customers, we're currently expanding and looking at planning and order points, which is where customers can have a much more closer relationship with us in some of the more complex activities, such as uh, kitchen planning and uh, bedroom planning. Most importantly, at IKEA, it's not just about shopping. We want to make it fun, and we want to make it inspiring. And that's, that's part of what we do, it's part of, what our, our DNA, part of our DNA, and we want to take that forward. The, the IKEA app is, is blending our physical and uh, digital experience together. And we're in, at, the, at this moment in time in the, the largest relaunch that the app's seen. Ultimately, we're ambitioned to, to make the ultimate shopping experience, um, con which connects online and offline experiences together. Um, we're launching numerous innovative uh, f features in the app, some of which you'll see today, including, of course, AI, and most importantly, getting as personal as we can with the customer. We recognize that our app bridges the gap between our online and our offline world. And this is crucial for us as we design the features within the app um, and make it the glue that keeps our customers sticking to us no matter where they, where they are. So let's dig in a little bit. Imagine you're sitting at home looking for a new sofa.
How many of you have the IKEA app installed? How many of you have used this? It's time you use this. This is amazing. This is IKEA Creative. Um, it allows you to scan a room. It uses AI and computer vision to create a three-dimensional three reconstruction of your room, remove the furniture from the room, and put IKEA furniture in it. Of course, connected to the basket, and of course, connected uh, to, the sales, to the sales funnel. It's absolutely amazing. I use it for tidying up my kids' rooms. <laughs> Added advantage. We also have, um, to, make it, oops, to make it simpler, uh, View in 3D. View in 3D is a less involved version of IKEA Creative, where on every product page it's possible to, in, in, uh, to um, directly, with AR, add our products to your room. So if you're sitting on your couch and you want that new couch, or you want that new um, uh, coffee table, just put it in your room. Make it easy. Check it out. It's there for you. Doing this the opposite way is something that is going to be coming soon as well. So product recognition within the app. Just imagine if you're sitting in the restaurant and you see something you like, but you can't remember the IKEA name. Yeah, I can't remember them either. But you scan it in the app, and it gets entered straight into your, into your basket for, uh, for purchase. It allows us to be with the customer where they are, when they are, seeing our products and taking advantage of the fact that IKEA product is everywhere. Add it to your, add it to your wish list, and um, make sure that you are organizing those wish lists for purchase later. These are wish lists for weddings, for special occasions, um, or just because you're, it takes a long time to think about how you are going to redesign a room. So now we're sat on that coach, couch. Uh, we have, um, we're able to redesign the room. We can make some spontaneous sales. We've added to our wish list. Maybe it's our wedding list. Maybe it was our bedroom. Maybe next time it will be a child's room. Now we're in the store. And this is a different experience for the customer. We need to think carefully about what the customer needs when they're in the store. So we're launching, we're launching store mode, which allows us to switch the, 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 the uh, user experience from an inspiration experience to an action experience within the store. First of all, this will surface um, store navigation, which is coming, uh, coming very shortly to, uh, to Germany. Um, store nav navigation does exactly what it says it does. It helps you find your way around, around the store. And um, it helps us, uh, helps us to solve and answer three questions. Where's the product, which is, of course, important. But there's two other questions which get asked, uh, asked to our coworkers very often, which is where's the toilet and where's the restaurants? And they're really not very valuable, very va valuable questions. So if we can move this conversation to an app, to the info points, we're going to be able to get our, our co-workers answering the real questions and helping with a sale. Um, navigation is, as you see, a standard map, but it's also in AR, and it is able to identify where you are in the store and where exactly the product is. And yes, we will be using the official shortcuts. Shop and Go is... Um, it was launched in 22 as part of this, as part of this uh, move. Um, and Shop and Go is our scanning tool, which allows you, as you go through the, tool, uh, the store, sorry, to scan your products and make it very easy to exit the store. Because everyone wants to get to the hot dogs and the ice cream as quickly as possible. Not forgetting the car park, but that's a different story. Um, scan, scan and Go has proved exceptional and produces amazing satisfaction. And I did actually try it out with my wife yesterday.
she's a very experienced IKEA shopper. Um, and please don't ask me to do that after a few beers. It will it really probably hurt more. This is an actually amazing product, and we're seeing amazing, um, amazing result in customer satisfaction, and what we call happy customer score. And happy customer scores are, of course, increasing conversion and basket size. So it's a fantastic, it's a fantastic offer. Um, when you get back at home, a very important part of the experience. As you know, it's football time. So after the game is before the game. We need to make sure that this experience is just as amazing as it is before we go to the store and in the store. So we focus on making sure that we have the right order information for our customers, the right aftercare, making sure that we, uh, customers, the customers can manage, uh, manage their orders and find out, most importantly, if they've ordered something to at home, when and where it's going to be so they can be there to greet it. And as we go through the entire engagement, um, I'm going to end with a question that was asked at the beginning. How, how many of you are IKEA family members? Good. Because we're changing IKEA family. IKEA family this year will become IKEA family rewards, which is an engagement program, just as we heard earlier this morning, uh, this, this afternoon where we will be rewarding you as customers, not just, uh, not just because you come to IKEA, but the things you do at IKEA. And not just in the app, but across the whole um, omni-channel experience that we, are, we have. And this is a big change and a, a huge engagement change for us to enable us to be much closer to understanding where the customer is and what they want to do, and um, how, how can we talk to them about the, personal, the, the personalization that I mentioned at the very beginning. So the app is a key part of our omni-channel omni strategy. It doesn't just support home and online. It supports the experience through the stores, the offline experience. It's true to what we do at IKEA because it enables us to move some of the processes that we have in store to the customer. And in, in true IKEA style, you do your bit, we do ours, and it helps us to be more efficient and bring the, bring the bring the cost, cost down and provide the service that you expect uh, when you're at IKEA. There's a lot to do. There's a lot more to do to keep this, to keep this moving and to be, make, it that, make it that shopping companion or even a life at home companion that would be ideal for us. But in, the, in, in true IKEA style, you can't finish an IKEA presentation without talking about Ingva, our founder. Most things remain to be done. Thank you. Jeremy, thank you so much. Um, I really appreciate that you came came here. And uh, I was wondering, like, we we were checking the room, like, like you know, that your brand awareness and, and who is part of this program and who's having the app. I was so, a bit disappointed. I have to. Yeah, say. yeah. Was it representative yeah, yeah. for you, oh, or oh, sorry? Was it representative of uh, no, terms of no? no? Surprisingly, not. I was expecting a lot more hands there, but yeah. uh, we, we need to do something about that. So please do sign up. Yeah, uh, good. Uh, and uh, and I was I mean, again like the IKEA creative part like looks amazing, but I, I, I'm, I, what's the adoption like? I mean, like are people are actually using it. So it feels like a gimmick, right? It's not a gimmick. Um, it's being built into the complete um, complete planning processes that we have. Um, we've got some big big ambition for it, particularly when you start dreaming around Gen AI and how that could help with democratizing interior design. So there's plenty of ways forward with it. What we're seeing today is a, is a very good engagement. Customers who use IKEA Creative spend around, let's say, 20 minutes plus with the tool, thinking about IKEA, designing their rooms. And I think that's, very, that's, a, that's, a, that's exceedingly value, valuable for brand engagement. But more importantly, if you invest that amount of time in designing, you're very, very likely to buy. Mm -hmm. So the conversion rates are uh, very good. And then you just like you, you save what you designed, or exactly. how you, you do it. You, you can save you can save your designs um, to 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 use later, but you can also, of course, move the move the whole design to your basket for purchase and, and ordering. Yeah, because yeah. I mean, like we're talking about, like everybody's throwing around <coughs> this Gen AI buzzword, and 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 everybody's using it and working on it. And 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 I think we were with Jochen and Marcel, we were uh, discussing back and forth that. 
that like, how you can really disrupt the way the customer engages, like you, what the user interface. That's one of the cases. Is, exactly. We, I was listening to Jochen this morning and thinking exactly that. You know, we've got the. How can we build on that even further to change the way people are thinking? Um, and <laughs> my own, my own story about this is I'm a interior design moron. I can't, I have no idea how to how to do do home design. And a tool like this is exactly what I would need to be able to take me out of my moron cupboard and make me the best interior designer in the world. And I think those, those sorts of rethinks are what we need when we're looking at the, the, um, the customer experiences. So you create level playing field for design more. Exactly. Thank you so much. Jeremy, thanks Thank for you. being here. Thanks. <laughs>